It's been so long since I made a video because they're here every day. Every day. Now that I got some time to myself, I'd like to share with you this beautiful wig that I got, this protective styling. But now that I got some time to myself, I can share with you how I have been wearing my hair for the summertime. Now, I have plans to get a sew-in uh, this week, so I've been wearing wigs primarily. I've been working out. And I just decided that I was going to start juicing again because I've been on Instagram and there's a lot of Juicy June challenges going on. So I'm mad late. I'm a week late, but I'm a start. But working out and swimming in the summertime is it just causes havoc in my hair. And I don't really I really don't like wearing my hair out in the summertime. So but Michelle, don't you always protect the style and stuff? Yes, I do. So I got this unit from the wonderful people of Wow African and of course it comes in this yummy box. And I'll show you the cap construction and how it came fresh out of the package a little bit later on in this video. But first I just want to give you the specs on this wig so we can get into it, right? So this is the Body Wave Brazilian Glueless Full Lace Wig and it is 20 inches. And I got mine in the cap number 4 because I need the adjustable straps and the combs because sometimes my hair swells and it gets big. And I got an average size cap, surprisingly, even though I feel like my head is huge. The color is natural, dark, um, you can dye it. I don't ever see myself dyeing this beautiful dark wig because it's pretty about soft. I am by no means a master of slage when it comes to full lace wigs. Most of the time, my hairline be kind of, you know, I look, you ever look back at pictures and you're like, I thought I slayed my hairline, but I did not slay it. Mm. So you know how a lot of people, um, they bleach the lace of their wig? Uh, yeah, I decided to give that up. I have a full giant tub of bleach powder in my cabinet that will go unused because I destroy so many things. Bleaching, stay away from the bleach, I'm not touching the bleach. So instead of bleaching, I tweeze my little hairline right here. I tweeze my little part. And then I use my foundation. I wear NARS Illuminous, all day Illuminous Weightless Foundation. And my color is Macau, medium dark four. I don't know. But anyway, it blends like a dream. And then for um, the lace, I just use a little dark brown eyeshadow and try to blend it on. Uh, you know who to watch on YouTube if you want to find out how to do it the even better way Good. so the wig touches my waist so it's pretty long but of course the curls probably fall naturally around this area right here okay so this is the part of the video where I show you how the unit looked when I first got it this is um, the natural color body wave Brazilian and it's virgin hair and it's a glueless lace Full wig, which means this free parting all on the unit, and I want to show you the pretty curls. And this is right out of the package, and I just want to show you the cap construction. I ordered a cap number four because I need my combs and I need my stretchy little stretchy things in the back because I don't want my wig to fly off my head. So this is me just putting the wig on. I haven't done anything, I haven't cut it, I haven't combed out nary a curl, and this is what it looks like, and it fits my head pretty good. And now I'm going to show you how I <laughs> attempt to make this wig blend into my own scalp. So first thing you do is you decide where you want your part to be. And I use the coconut shea from Eden Body Works as my edge control with a little toothbrush to the edges up. So I put on the treatment and then I um, lay my edges down flat. And then I, and then this is like where you try to make the wig um, line up with your parts that you put in. Um, and then you like see pictures that you take and realize that nothing was lined up at all. But anyway, I tried. And then I'm using my foundation, which is like I said, is the All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation from NARS in Macau. And I put that on uh, an old forgotten angle brush I found somewhere. And then like you put that on your part and there you go. Very realistic, or at least an attempt. So that's it. Thank you so much guys for stopping from the channel. I appreciate you guys watching me. 
and thank you for all the support and I hope you guys are having a great summer. I'll talk to you guys later.